and we've just started another uh, 8 4 Gate Crash draft. Uh, I had joined the queue before, so it's already started without me. Um, looks like our best options here are Orzov, Charm, Drake Wing, Krasis. Um, everything else is pretty much worse than that. Let me see. I think Orzov Charm. Oh, Krakener is also pretty darn good. Um, I think Orzov Charm is the best place for me to start right now, though. Um, I actually like uh, Sima quite a bit. So that's pretty tempting. But I haven't gotten to play with Orzov Charm yet, so. Um, I'm just going to take the breeding pool. Um, Marshall Limited Resources says that his rule is to never pass a shock land because, you know, for one thing, they're kind of expensive, and for another thing, they're really good to have. Um, taking these improves my uh, constructed decks, so I may as well do it. All right, I've got a Devour Flesh. I could do, like, Green Side Watcher or something. Um, Gateway Shade is okay. Uh-huh. I think I'm going to keep grabbing removal and see how much I can stack up. I'm not set on ores off, so we'll see. I could consider Demir Charm uh, because it's another good piece of removal, and I actually do really like Demir. However, for the moment, I'm going to take another Devour Flesh because it's playable in both decks, and it's just quite good. Um, Wow, this is late pit fight and madcap skills. Uh, I really don't like Horror of the Dim. Righteous Turn. Basically, the only playable card in my colors is Aether Maneuver. Um, however, in other colors, there's Ether Eyes or, uh, sorry, Aerial Remover. Maneuver. Um, Ether Eyes or Pit Fight. Um, madcap, madcap skills is good, but it's not quite as good as Pit Fight. Um, I'm thinking. I've got a lot of black removal. I'd like to stand black. I'm going to take other eyes, uh, just in case I am blue-black instead of white-black. So that'll give me options. Alright. Um... Mortar Strider is fine. Clinging in enemies is fine. Not much else in the pack is playable. Um, I think I like Mortar Strider the most. It has some cool interactions. Dutiful Threshold is playable. Oh, here, I didn't even see the Debtor's Pulpit. Um, Debtor's Pulpit is kind of splashable in blue-black, and it's playable for sure in white-black. Um, Dutiful Thrall would be my next pick for sure. Um, as I said, I don't mind playing uh, cleaning in enemies. I could always go in on the, you know, four or five color uh, green side watcher deck, but I haven't seen enough of the other pieces, so it's not really a thing. Um, I think I'd rather have Nav Squad Commandos, commandos than cleaning in enemies. Um, I'd actually almost rather have Purge the Profane, although you can get that whenever. <laughs> Last thoughts is okay. Okay, so we're definitely in some combination of black with blue or white. Um, maybe all three. But we'll see. Looks like my weight is slightly better right now because I've got two removal spells. Um, so we'll see. Okay, is there anybody here that I know? I do not think there are any uh, people I recognize the names of in here. I really don't expect it, but sometimes there's a podcaster that I've heard of or whatever. And I'll pause and talk. All right, pick up a purge the profane again. It's not great, but neither is anything else there. I'm gonna go ahead and cast sort. Uh, I'm gonna hide the guild's going ward because it's pretty bad.
Razor Tip Whip is pretty bad, and, uh, you know, I don't think I would play it in unless I was really desperate for playables. However, it's kind of annoying to have playing against you, and I don't want it to beat me. Um, okay, so, not only am I playing white, I have a uh, Gideon. Uh, Gideon is actually really cheap right now, it's like four, maybe five bucks. I'm tempted to buy a playset and, uh, build a deck around it. Just because, you know, it's not great as far as Planeswalkers go, but it's a Planeswalker, so they're, you know, it has its upsides. Alright, uh... Dracon Crisis is good, Sun Home Guild Mage is good. Um, Court Street Denizen is good in Boros. Um, Shadow Heavy Denizen can be okay in uh, Blue Black. Karkoner is good, period. Uh, but yeah, uh, Gideon is almost the only playable card for me anyway, uh, so giddy up. Um, I think Balustrade Spy is a slightly higher pick over Angelic Edict here. I'm going to go through and see what blue cards I really don't want to play. Um, Clinging and, and Enemies is not worth splashing. Uh, Mortis Rider, similarly. Uh, I could consider Aether Eyes. Though I've got enough removal so far that it seems like I won't um, have a problem with it. Okay. This is going to be me being greedy. I really want to board break this. Um, Nightwatch is okay. Gift of Orzova is okay, although we only have three creatures. Um, we may have to end up three color to get enough playables, in part because I'm being greedy and taking uh, cards that I just want to have for my constructor. But sometimes it's worth... Uh, Sorry, Killing Glare is by far the best card in the pack, plus it's just more removal. Um, the more removal we get, the better Gateway Shade gets, because it means that we can push into the late game when we have tons of uh, mana. Okay, I can go Shadow Slice here. I can go Prophetic Prism. I can go Zorichi Tiger. I've got a lot of fours, even though I don't want to play them. Um... I don't have a ton of creatures. I'm going to play Prophetic Prism. Uh, if nothing else, I can uh, use it to cycle a card and fill a slot in my deck without a downside. Um, however, it would also be perfectly good for helping me splash cards. Uh, probably just blue cards. Um, I don't like anything here beside kind of Shadow Denizen, although again that is a Demir card, not a Orzhov card. And Leyline Phantom is uh, second best. But that was a really weak pack overall. Alright, I'm going to take a Gutter Skulk because it's playable in main deck. I would really like a Demir Guild Gate because it looks like I might need to splash. However, uh, you know, playable first. Uh, and this is playable without splashing. Um, so hopefully this guy can just be Judge, Jura, and Executioner. That's a really late uh, Madcap skills. Hmm. But I'm going to take the totally lost. It's removal, it's splashable. Um, I just need to make sure I have enough low drops to not die. Uh, Spell Rector is not the worst. Zorichi Tiger is not the worst. Uh, Spell Rector is really not the best in a deck where I have so few creatures, though. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take the Zorichi Tiger. Yep. Alright, I'm kind of concerned with the number of... Uh, Boros cards I'm passing. That means that the person to my right is probably Boros. Uh, Alright. I really don't want to play two th last thoughts, but there's some tiny chance I would, so I'm going to keep it. Um, that kind of operation is fine. Anyway, like I was saying, it looks like the person on our uh, 
so that on our left may be Boros because the person on our right is passing too much of it. Um, it's far from a sure thing, but it's possible. Midnight Recovery. If I had more creatures, I might consider it. But really, uh, this is a super removal deck, or is going to have to be. Alright, something good. Let's do something amazing. Fire of Alarm Fire is actually quite good, but unfortunately it is not for our deck. Uh, I would like to have a Psychic Strike, however, um, I think Devour Flesh gets better in multiples, so I'm just going to keep picking them up. Um, actually, Daring Skyjack is quite good here. I do need creatures. I do need low drops. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take the Skyjack. I do need a way to get in damage. Um, Godless Shrine I'm taking for the same reason, plus it actually fixes my mana. Um, Godless Shrine is going to help the uh, High Priest of Penistech, as well as a couple others I'm working with. Um, Dutiful Throw, like I said, I need a, uh, I need as many low drops as I can get for a bit to, uh, help survive. I need a game plan, I need a way to win. Um, Urbis Protector would do that very well. Um, a 4-4 Flyer is pretty hard to deal with. But I think I'm going to go ahead and take the Dutiful Throw. Um, Alright, we've got uh, Kingping's pet. Just because I need ways to deal damage, I'm going to take that over uh, the removal spell in Angelic Edict. Again, this is not a very good draft because I keep taking cards that I really want, but uh, sometimes it's worth it. Um, I could go big and say, alright, this is going to be my win condition, let's go. However, Basilica Screecher is super good. Um, plus, it's very good with the... Uh, the cipher cards here. So I think I'm going to be taking that one. Um, Assault Griffin is also solid. Not much else here is. Uh. Yeah, we have a lot of removal, but I really don't want to gamble on getting to five. Uh, Alright, now we're finally getting a whole bunch of extort stuff. I think I'm going to take the Blind Obedience and say that my plan is to uh, use Extort, hopefully, to get there. Um, we're doing a lot better on two drops than we were before. Um, Night Watch, I'm probably going to hide most of those five, so Night Watch looks a lot better. Um, aerial remove maneuver, now that we're getting more uh, creatures, is kind of a win condition. Uh, sorry, not a win condition, a uh, removal spell. Um, we could also consider another Leyline Phantom. Um, I really don't like the idea of splashing two of them, so I'm going to take a aerial maneuver. Um, also, when I said that uh, we don't have any win conditions, of course we have Gideon. He is the champion of justice. Alright. Etherize versus Guildgate. Mm. We need him. Fixing man is important, but we don't have that many uh Actually, we only have what three blue spells? Yeah, I'm gonna take the Guildgate. We might not be blue at all. Um I was kind of assuming we were, but Oh, pulpit over edict. That's actually a pretty interesting uh Decision. We already have a pulpit. I don't want to lock up too many of our lands, so I'm going to take the edict. Um, I have before splashed uh, Alpha Authority on in a blue-black deck because it makes your creature really hard to block and gives it hexproof so that they can't get rid of uh, shadow slices and such. However, we're not really a blue-black deck, so. I'll take the best card there. Um, Furious Resistance is the most playable card here, although no red deck really likes it. Um, Hold the Gates is okay, but we don't have many. Um, I've played it with very few gates just because uh, I was 
I like the idea of having uh, vigilance on all my creatures, and it was actually okay. But, uh, you know, yeah. It either needs a very specific deck, or you have to be really desperate. Um, <laughs> this deck is, again, not great. Uh, we don't have enough creatures for Midnight Recovery. Okay. We'll have a look at it in, in uh, deck construction. Yeah, we are pretty good on playables. The gaming was a nice pickup. Right, that can apparition. Kingpin's pet. Wars off charm. Those are definitely in. Devour. Screecher. All of our low drops are good. Our removal is good. Balustrade spy is good. Killing glare is good. Commandos. Night watch. Debtor's pulpit. Gentle like Gideon. Tiger, um, Tiger is not something I love playing. It's actually good in the Orzhov mirror because it lets you basically uh, not be affected by their extort if you have some mana extra. Blind obedience during sky deck, beautiful throw. All right, so we're gonna have to play a couple extra cards. That's not the worst. Uh, we do have uh, Prophetic Prism for splashing, plus it cycles itself anyway. Uh -huh. Otherwise, Leyline Phantom. Totally lost. Last thoughts. Okay, so. We don't have many creatures. <laughs> creatures would be good. Um, uh, we could also run Purge the Profane. Um, it is not the best, but it's really good at making them drop their removal, because they generally hold that out for any crazy creatures you have. Uh, if I run... I could run the uh, Prophetic Prism just to cycle itself, and Purge the Profane... And either run 18 lands or like something for a, like a razor tip whip. A uh, razor tip whip is a bit better with a uh, extort. We don't have that much extort, but we have a couple of them now. Which of these cards would be best if I splash one? I think either totally lost. Or Leyline Phantom would be best. Um, we don't have that much uh, evasion or that many creatures for last thoughts, although I would love to draw some cards. Um, let's do Purge the Profane. Again, it's not the worst, we don't have that many uh, four drops. And we can splash. You know, I'm not sure that Leyline Phantom is worth splashing. Uh, same for Totally Lost. Otherwise, this is... can be... Hmm, we don't have that many creatures, so we're not going to be trading them off all that much. Uh, this only takes them to my hand, anyway. I hate to say it, let's try Razor Tip Whip. Um, I know it's bad. However, maybe the extort makes it good enough to be worth it. I'm really not sure here. I'm not sure what the best option is. Again, we're kind of scraping, but I'd rather not splash. Oh. Add land is what I meant to click there. That's an important difference. All right, so. Slightly favoring white. Um, we do have to turn one white. Um, all of our... Removal spells are kind of for later. You know what we do have some mana fixing. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's not worth Razor Tip Whip for sure. Um Purge the Profane is still eh. Wait, what did I just remember? Um, I 
Okay, okay that's fine. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I think I will do totally lost over otherwise. Uh no, no, sorry. Otherwise will help me out more against the super aggressive deck. Okay, so that gives me a total of nine white sources, uh, including our two gates, uh, our two uh, duels, uh, eight swamps, and uh, and we can add one to both of those numbers for prophetic prism, and three uh, islands. Since we're only really splashing one card, I think that's going to be okay. 